What's up guys, it's Shrek. It's been a while since I have actually made a video, and I can explain why. It is because last week, on Thursday, which was a while ago, I had to go to my sister's um, band concert, and then I got home at like 9 or something, and I had to go to bed. I couldn't upload. No, I didn't go to bed at 9. Our flood, our road flooded, and then I got back home at like 10.30. So it was like, I couldn't even upload. And then on Friday, I had no reason, like, I had no excuse then. I just didn't feel like it. It was Friday. And then on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I was at my grandma and grandpa's house. And then all the rest of the week, I couldn't find an airshow app that worked, and I just got one that worked, and now I'm back recording, so, the only days, the only day I had no excuse was last Friday, but I just found the app, and now I'm recording, this is the deck that I am talking about that is, like, super good, I got this off of a guy, another YouTuber with, like, 40k subs, named Clash with Shane, he's pretty cool, I watch, like, most of his videos, Probably one of my favorite Clash Royale YouTubers. And this deck is pretty nice. I've been using it for a while now, like a long time. It's my number one deck. And I'm trying to get my Musketeer to level 6 soon. But here's the deck. The average cost is 3.6. It's pretty nice. Now I'm going to get into some replays right now. This was against Athena. 3 and 1. Sorry about the burp. Oh yeah, and the only reason I went for the three crown, which was because, um, I forgot why. Oh yeah, it's because I was, like, closer to the three crown because my troops swarmed the king tower. I think so. Was, I think this was yesterday, if I'm not wrong. The cannon should help take care of the lava hound. So that's what I'm going to place next, right in the middle. So the lo I s placed a zap, take out those, so the musketeer can get some hits on that tower. I don't know why he tornadoed that musketeer. It would have gotten the same amount of hits. I sent those two because I figured he had no elixir at all. In this point, I was like, oh crap, dude. A miner and a lava hound that wrecks. But then I had my, and then I knew I got his tower, and he wasn't even going to get close to taking my tower. So I knew I was safe. And then look, they're like closer. I'm closer to the three crown, kind of. Not really, but there's no point in not going for it. Let's see. Since I just wasted the zap, he's going to place his scar me. And then boom, take all that out. And then that miner won't do much, but there's also a skeleton, so that kind of hurts my tower a lot. Now I was like, oh crap, he has 800 on both and I've only taken out one tower. So he's kind of in the lead. But what do I do next? He's going to place that. I'm going to place a giant. I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm just going to send a mega minion back here to help take it out and a musketeer and that should be good. Yeah, the, the musketeer is going to stay alive. I'm going to not zap it because I know he has a skeleton army. That's where I zap. And then I'm like, dude, I have to go for the three. Because he's going to get both towers. So I just send another balloon. A mega minion. And I already knew at this point that I was going to win. And this tower is at 919. So what I'm going to do now is place my skeleton army. I thought he was sending his miner on that side. But it's going to take out the miner before the fire spirits get to it. And we have 20 seconds left in the match. I'm just going to zap it again. And boom, that is game. He just places a random tornado. I give him a thumbs up. 
That is game. This deck is pretty effective against Lava Hound decks, too, because you have a Musketeer and a Mega Minion to take that out, plus a Cannon to distract, and Zap to take out Skeleton Armies, your Skeleton Army to take out other stuff, and Giant Musketeer, balloon, Giant Balloon, mostly to take out the tower. It works a lot of the time. I get defeated, I win also, but... I win more than I lose. That's for sure. And now, oh dang it, we can't go into a friendly battle. I took too long. I guess we can spectate this. Shout out to them. Jame, Jamie, his name is Jahir. He's actually my friend on PlayStation. So shout out to him. Let's see what happens. I'm not gonna defend that balloon, I guess. I don't know why he placed a giant skeleton to take that out. Arrow it, arrow it. Yeah, there you go. It's at six, six, six. I think Jahir lost, to be honest. I don't know why he did that. I mean, he's not the best Clash Royale player. He's he's decent, I guess. He just needs a he needs a good deck. That wizard and baby dragon's gonna easily take out that furnace. And he, he's going to arrow it, I think. Yeah, that was too late, though. And now he is screwed. Yeah, that was too late. View game to them. And I think this is going to wrap up this video. I didn't really have anything to do today, but I'm making progress on the game, as you can see. Almost Arena 8 again, because I was Arena 8 at one time. I also have four legendaries. Remember whenever I had zero on my first Clash Royale video? It's not that long ago. It was like maybe a month ago. Yeah, probably like a month ago. And now I already have all that. I could get my witch to level four if I wanted. I just don't use the witch. I will get my god barrel to level three sometime. I've been wanting that level three. And I think that's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and this is Ricky Boy. This is my swamp.